we have almost everyone. Okay, so let's have everybody's attention for our final report out here. I'm really excited to hear what these groups came up with. I wish I had a decibel app on my phone to measure the applause. That would be the way to go. And I really wish I had a prize for the best headlines, but it's gonna go um, honorary mention and we'll just we'll give our ears to it and see what we get. Anybody else coming up? Okay, a few more. All right, so reminder, you only get 10 words. Give us your very best 10 words about these amazing recommendations and solutions here. We were from the Reimagine Capacity Training Support Access Equity Group. Our big idea, big, hairy, audacious program name is called the Designation Collaborative with the headline of increasing equity and access through statewide participation and coordinated state support. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is the result of the great work from table four. Um, we were reimagining alignment of goals, agencies, metrics, programs, and plans. Our big, hairy, audacious designation program name is Undesignation 2050, and the headline is Apply for NIMBY Designation Today. <laughs> We were table number three, and we were the same uh, goal as the previous presenters. And we were, uh, our, we're the SOS group. We're streamlining, organizing, and sweetening by leaving no study left behind. <laughs> so we'll be using every single study that came out this summer. Um, our big idea is, thank you, <laughs> um, downtowns uh, develop in coordination with municipalities in the watershed and pay for ecosystem services up, up and downstream. Yes. Reminder, speak close to the microphone, Kirk. Uh, what was the name of? We were reimagining benefits. Benefits is the and funding and funding. So naturally, money, money, money. Um, the bold idea that we have is to make us, then fund us. State sets goals. Town meets goals. Town gets money. <laughs> So my group was Reimagine uh, Capacity, Training, Support, Access, and Equity, and we asked for clarification as to whether this was DCD, DHCD we should be looking at or municipalities. They said it was municipalities, so this is the direction we went. Our big hairy idea, for which we did not come up with a headline, was one application platform for all state of Vermont program grants and applications. <laughs> Posters in this direction, by the way, if you want to send them over here. Sorry. Extra steps. It's not bad today. We were table one. Uh, we were reimagining, and uh, I believe our focus area was designation types and models. And uh, we had several ideas. We tried to collapse them around, um, right, creating development-ready areas where barriers to our objectives, housing, um, equity, equity uh, economic resilience, economic development are removed. And some of the ways we talked about doing that were to drop the number of designation types to maybe two or three and not allowing appeals of any development projects within designation areas. No NIMBYs. 
We were at table two and we were also reimagine and under the uh, designation types and models. And we came up with three ideas. Uh, one was pilot land value tax and designated areas to do a pilot program of that. Um, map water and sewer areas and remove regulatory barriers and incorporate resiliency plan and designated application slash renewal. Did I explain that last one right? Yep. Yeah, all right, cool. Our headline. our headline was Make the Good Simple. We run the reform group um, for capacity communications and coordination. And so our five high level ideas summarized into 10 words are that we're gonna do more of collaborating, communicating more, proportional resources, RPC investment, and high level planning. So we were at table 10, uh, reforming, and our title was Dynamic Designation. Uh, what that entail would be uh, a combination of the designation program into uh, one application, a progressive application that can be tiered depending on the uh, demand and the goals and information provided. Um, and we would combine that, thankfully I have a cheat sheet here, with uh, better alignment with regional and statewide goals, uh, along with more robust benefits uh, in, in each designation level. And yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, we were uh, table 11 and we were benefits and program needs uh, in the reform category. And I think that our sort of, we were sort of our recommendations were distilled into fewer designation types, but more benefits associated with that. And in particular, money, not just, you know, ancillary benefits, but more money going into these designation types. Thank you. Hello, table 12, uh, funding, resources, and assets. Give more incentives to encourage private developers to rehab old buildings, regional or state coordination of municipal services and assets, funding for demo of blighted buildings, create a new funding stream through users slash residents, open up new town centers definition to allow for downtowns that keep flooding to redevelop elsewhere. More than 10 words, sorry. <laughs> Those are fantastic. I definitely noticed some rule breaking keep creeping along there. So to the groups who followed the rules and only gave us 10 words at the beginning, thank you, good job. To the rest of you, go read their posters so you can hear their great ideas too. We're gonna wrap up in just a few minutes. Jerry will finish this off, but there are cookies left, there are drinks left, and there are some amazing posters on the wall just waiting for your stickers and your eyes. So please do stick around and visit with each other and have a snack and um, enjoy the rest of the day if you can. But thank you so much on our behalf. We're so glad that you joined us on this crazy ride today that we all got back safely from 2050 and here we are and hope that we'll see you there again in a few years and all of these things will have come true. So Jerry, over to you. Hello, everyone. First of all, please give yourselves one more round of applause for some really wonderful work today. So we've had the pleasure of talking to many of you and others throughout the state over the past several months. Um, we have a, a lot of information. Um, we have great ideas from our survey that is still live if you haven't had an opportunity to take it. Um, and I know that there's a ton of great ideas, both that we've heard and that are on these posters. So we're looking forward to synthesizing a lot of it. And that's really our next step is the consultant team is gonna go back, synthesize a ton of information, uh, and then move into some recommendations. 
We're going to continue working with DHCD over the next couple of months. Um, but that does not mean necessarily that you are done after today. So many of your roles, both as residents um, and professionally, will intersect with the designations moving forward. So we really encourage you to stay engaged. That means share the survey, have these conversations about designations um, throughout the rest of the summer and into the fall. Um, and we have two upcoming events on business and economic development, a virtual conversation later this month. Um, and we have a recap uh, next week. So we're gonna do a, a virtual kind of version of today in a compressed amount of time. So if you have colleagues or others that you really think need to be part of this conversation or have great ideas to contribute, please encourage them to, to join that on the 19th. That's next uh, Tuesday. So finally, in terms of final thoughts, we'd love for you to pick up a sticky note and write down kind of the one idea or one thing that was most exciting that you heard today and you wanna to see carried forward. Either you wanna make sure that it makes it into the recommendations, you wanna hear more about it going forward, just kind of one concept that really bubbled to the top for you throughout the day. And then on your way out the door, stick it on the wall and we'll take pictures and make sure that gets captured. Um, again, we really appreciate all of the ideas that we heard today, all of your energy and participation, I'm um, looking forward to continuing the conversation as we have some more events and as we continue to hear from many of you. Um, so once again, thank you so much on behalf of our whole team, um, the DHCD team and others um, that have contributed to this event and have contributed to this effort um, throughout the summer and into the fall. Thank you again, and we'll be around uh, for quick conversations. The resource team will be available for any questions. Um, please do make sure to do some dot voting and um, thank you again, really appreciate it.